Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Back again for another episode. And this episode is going to be amazingly good. Now, I am standing here on Abbe Faria Square. Abbe Faria, the statue, you just can't miss it. Dedicated to Jose Custodio Faria, or known as Abbe Faria. And he is considered as the father of suggestive hypnotism. Son of Goa, born in Kandoli. And also at a place where two cannons are kept over here, right by the side of the Adil Shah's palace. These cannons were supposedly from the fortress of Gaspar Diaz at Miramar. You didn't know that. But today we have come to this wonderful house at the back, which we all know as the house of Mamai Kamats. You will be surprised to know that their original name was not Mamai Kamats. Their original name was Kamat Girdolkar. They were from Girdoli. And during the uh, prosecution, uh, religious prosecution, they ran away. And they accepted the name of their deity, Mamai. But, from that time onwards till now, this house has been in the forefront of trade. They were the representatives of the French in trading in Goa. The floor that you see on top over there was used by all the students during the Portuguese time because there was no transport. And people would come here, stay here, and the Mamai Kamat family would take care of all of them. Today, they tell us with pride that I am a doctor, I am an engineer of fame, or I am famous because I stayed at the Mamai Kamati house. This house has been built very long back in the 17th century. They were amazing traders, amazing traders. They traded from everything to everything. But we have come here to visit this house because every year they have a festival here or a ritual here which is attended by more than about 800 to 1000 people of different faiths, different religions and no question is asked. Talking about this festival of Ananta Chaturdashi on the uh, 11th day of the Chaturthi festivity that I held over here, Ananta Chaturdashi has got its own saying made. And the saying goes that Mamai cha paisa fude swamyan so rice khoi. The meaning, and I will translate it to you, the, the pies, which is made out of rice, milk, cashew nuts, and the wax, is so sweet that people would forget or overlook the order of the Swami, which is called as a rice. See, you learnt one more thing. The order issued by the Swami is called as a rice. Same way, when, the, when His Holiness the Pope issues an order, it is called as a papal bull. And in Old Goa, where all these orders or the bulls used to come and kept in a house is called as a house of bulls. So, what we will do, like the bulls, we will charge into their house. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there are so many things that happen over here that you will be amazed. But one thing that I must not forget to tell you, this ritual or the festival of Ananta Chaturdashi is also called as the Kongyache, Kongyachi Puja. Kongo means a conch, a conch shell conch. Now it so happened that the Hindus believe that the right-sided conch, now 90%, 99% of the conch shells are left-sided. But this right-sided conch shell is 
very religious. So, on this day, that special conch shell which one of their ancestors brought down when he travelled to different countries, even as far as Brazil for his trade, he brought it as a paperweight. And when they noticed that it was right sided, they started doing the puja. And we will show you even that conch shell. So let us not waste time, let us go into the house of Mamai Kamat or Kaza Social, the Kamoti Mamai. Come on. This house of Mamai Kamats, the more we go into it, the more intricate the things become. It's an amazing. I'm standing now in the first soki of their place or angan. They have got two like this. And here you, behind me you can see flowers. This is the zayo tree. What you can see beautiful zayos over here. And uh, these flowers we normally use to offer to God. Now, when we came over here, we met a lot of elderly people. And then we came to know the one person who looks after the arranging of all this is the grandson of this family, Mr. Sripad Amonkar, who stays over here and we have brought him down into this small little patch of uh, garden that they have created. So let us find out from him. Sripad Bab, welcome to my program, My Goyim. Can you tell us, uh, you have got two altars over here. One is of Dr. Maharaj, one is the home one. Uh, what do you actually do in the morning? Pujari comes uh, for doing puja every day, twice a day. But uh, besides him, uh, I also do the pujas. After getting up, we plug the flowers and all. I offer it to Lord Dr. Maharaj and uh, as well as the main uh, inner sanctum yes. of the yes. God. Hmm. So the day usually starts with that. The puja then uh, my uh, usual work starts. What is your qualification? My qualification is basically BE in Electronics and Telecom. BE B B in Electronics. So you are a engineer. qualified Electronics Engineer. Ladies and gentlemen, please note, the elders have maintained the heritage of this house. While this young generation has not lost touch with spirituality, though education has taken him to a very high level. So what we will do now is say adieu to him and switch on to the other part of this house. Thank you, Sipad Bab. Thank you. House of Mamai Kamats have got some beautiful things at every step and here I have come into a room you can see that this room is being renovated and it has got a lot of uh, cavities here they found when they were renovating pots and certain porcelain items right at this place now you don't know what else could have been there, but what has been found, they have displayed it in the Swamachi Kud.
ladies and gentlemen i am sure that when you have come to panjim you have seen one of the most amazing temple dedicated to the goddess of wealth goddess mahalakshmi i am not sure whether you know the story of this originally the palm sized idol of mahalakshmi uh, deity was been revered by the havig brahmans in a cave at taligram sometime in the other episodes i will show you that during the religious persecution time they ran away and they gave this idol to a man who hid it inside a horse stable now when the owner came to know that there is a hindu idol kept in his stable he was scared because the regime of that time could have done anything so he spoke about this and somehow it came to be sent to moy now after many years one of the elders of this house of mamai kamats got a vision telling him i would like to come back to my place he did not understand it but he saw places you know and when he talked to the other people he was told about this uh, idol of mahalakshmi that was kept uh, in mayam so being in good books with the portuguese regime and asking for regular permissions which were very difficult at that time he brought the idol from mayam in a cano which was uh, rowed by the chodankars uh, chodankar family the fisher folk family and they brought that idol up to near people's high school and there was a tamarind tree with a hole so they kept it over there and then after getting the per- now why did they keep it over there because panjim was at fontaines right along that road the eastern side and then after they got the permission to construct the mahalakshmi temple at the place where it is they brought the idol here in this house and it was kept at the location where you see this safe remember ladies and gentlemen a safe has wealth and it was from here that in 1818 that the idol was taken and put into the temple over there now i must tell you one more aspect of this particular thing remember that panjim was fontaines mara that area even the court the oiter that is the cut in the hillock next to the immaculate conception were not yet done and when they asked the permission to put up a shrine the governor was ready to give but the religious head over here was adamant he said no how can you give permission to these people to put up a shrine so he said no i have already promised to them but i will make a little change in my order i will tell them you put up a shrine outside the boundary of panji so here it was that one gentleman by the name sinari donated a piece of land in a area called as arari at that time and the temple was built let's travel in time from 1818 to 2017 or 2018 next year it's going to be 200 years today the temple of mahalakshmi the goddess of wealth is in the center of the city what was once told to be located outside the city limits today is right in the middle and the blessings of this deity has made this city to flourish and become the capital of the entire goa how fortunate we are so if you are a panjimite be proud that you have a heritage like no one else and when you'll have the time please do visit the mahalakshmi temple also but the journey to the present place started from here
when you go to the goa state museum earlier it was at edc pato now it has been shifted to the adil shah's palace or the old secretariat in that museum you will see a small carved head of mahavir or buddha it is dated as per the board over there to the 4th century bc sorry 4th century ad and this particular uh, carved head of buddha it is said was found in the house of the kamoti mamais or the mamai kamots now this particular house gets historic and historic and more historic because you really don't know what other things are there hidden behind a lot of things over here now you will see that i am standing here in a small courtyard behind the house and here you can see an open space what we have been informed is earlier this was the toilets for the gents and the toilets for the ladies speak toilets and here there was a cow shed or a shed and when they were digging this place it was here that they found the head of buddha ladies and gentlemen this is one aspect of goa we don't know what is hidden just below our feet so next time we decide to sell our land to any other person please keep in mind that you may be handing over the heritage of my land to people who don't have value for it please take care of your heritage just the same way like the mamai kamat family is going all out to preserve the culture and the heritage and the history of this place so ladies and gentlemen behind me you see lot of trees breadfruit trees and this breadfruit trees are brought here by the portuguese they are called as nirpanas because they require a lot of water and we are going to cover that for you in a special episode about the trees of goa so i am going to let you watch this place over here where they found the head of mahavir before i forget when you go to such places in courtyards please do not touch these trees please do not touch this because these trees are called are khorjecha zad or when you touch them your hand starts itching so don't touch these trees see that the children don't touch it because we want your trip to goa your visit to the houses to be very good keep this in mind when any house ancestral house or a big mansion they have a function invariably many hands are required to make the work light in the house of the kamoti mamai in panjim almost palatial you require a lot of people and a lot of hands before anand chaturdashi besides the army of cooks over there there are own ladies and the gents working over here they also require the helping hand of labor now i would not classify them as labor because they have been attached to this house for a very long time there are ladies as well as gents on this front too the army of the ladies is led by zayu and you can see they have all come from chimbel tumi khoisun aila chimla sakun chimla sakun aila ata ya gharan tumi kitli varsha ashi kaam dale khub varsha dale kaam khub varsha dale sagli tumcha barobar yata tumcha barobar yata aao denga gyon yata tumi tu gyon yata tumche naav kire sumati sumati kalpana kalpana indu indu gauri gauri ladies and gentlemen you can see the smiles on their face even though they have been working so hard they still have a smile on their face and the gents army is led by kyo 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 led by kyo now they are from agasai 
दे ऑल कम फ्रॉम अक्षय तुम्ही क्वेश्चन आयला म्हणले अक्षय अक्षय तुम्ही सगळ्या अक्षयचे अक्षय सगळं आणि तुमचे नाव किती झिलू झिलू हिरू हिरो हिरू हिरो हेमंत हेमंत ओके सो हिअर आय एम इन द मिड्स ऑफ द आर्मी दॅट मेक्स दिस इव्हेंट व्हेरी व्हेरी सक्सेसफुल for any of this goan festivities there is one aspect which makes all festivities amazingly colorful you want to know what is the colorful part of it come with me come with me look at this ladies look at this ladies look at the smile on their faces see very bright smile over here very very mature smile here and look at these smiles ladies and gentlemen they come out with the most beautiful dresses and this is the time for bonding i am going to ask them questions uh sangeeta bhai welcome to my program called as my goye uh could you tell me how long you have been attending this place uh, i've been attending this since birth because i'm i'm born here so of course i wouldn't want to give out my age but since that time after i'm married for 33 years and i'm coming here every day i don't even miss out this even if i have to go for a holiday i say no and i come back here because i have to be here for this this particular puja that's passion that's love for the family festivity that was sangeeta bai telling you that she doesn't miss anything out do you think her mother is going to be anything lesser in passion about this let's find out from her uh tumi tumi sangeeta bai chi aai ani tumi hanga hi ji pale anant puja jata uh tya anant pujek tumcho aso hat bar kide asta आमचं सगळ्याच घरातल्या बायलांचो हातभार आसताच कारण हांगा पयली तयारी करची पडटा देवाचो प्रसाद करचो पडटा आणि तो अनवाळो करचो पडटा ताका लागून आम्ही सगळ्यो बायलो पयले दिसा ताजे पयले दिसा सगळे प्रसादाची तयारी करतात आणि पुजे तयारी करतात आय एम गोईंग टू बी अ लिटल नॉटी ओव्हर हियर तुमच्या घरान सुनो आणि जावय असा ते येतात हांगा सगळे येतात उमेदीन जांवय पासून आमगेले जेवण वाडपा फुडे सरतात आणि मुद्दम वाढतात आणि माटोळी बांधतात आणि तिथे सगळे मुद्दम देवाची सेवा म्हणून करतात इतले न्ही तांचे फ्रेंड पासून मुद्दम येतात आणि देवाची सेवा म्हणून ते हातभार लायतात आणि हे झाले तुमच्यो धुवो सुनो आणि जांवय आणि नात्रांक पळोपाची तुमची ड्युटी नात्रांक सगळे बोवाळ घालतात धावतात पळतात and they enjoy it well now here ladies and gentlemen we are talking about grandparents we are talking about daughters and we are talking about grandchildren this is manisha taulikar and this is nandini uh, now you all have been part of this event from the time that you have been born and from the time that she has been born uh, could you tell us uh, about how your friends have visited over here and what has been their experience uh since at uh, time i was in school and college i have been having different friends like catholics and all uh, from all the religions and they've been looking forward to come here every year because they've never got to see uh, a ceremony like this they say and they all look forward for uh, this particular day <laughs> and so uh, does my daughter look forward to get her friends also have you invited any of your friends yes many of them not only hindus but all the religions and they are looking forward to actually come to uh i have told you time and over and over again goa is one place where we don't do lip talk about communal harmony 
we practice it day in and day out whether we have got a religious ritual or a function in our house we still have a lot of friends colleagues acquaintances of different faiths who come and visit over here you will see all these visitors irrespective of who they in fact you will not believe you may even find foreigners over here but they sit in a row over wooden seats called as part and the sitting arrangement is called as pangat and i want to sit on a plate and get the best of things so i got to muska polish this ladies thank you ladies for uh, being with us on my goy thank you so much we are really happy to have you here thank you so i am going to get an additional share for sure